Good morning to you. This morning I'm going to cover question 10 of the COS 1511 October November 2013 exam paper. The question here asks write a function named change spaces that changes all spaces to hyphens and all digits to asterisks the star in a single string parameter. For example, if the variable called message contains the string happy holidays are here 2020, the function called change space message should change the value of message to happy holidays are here with the hyphens and the stars. Use the following functions. Bool is space char returns true if the char evaluates to a space, otherwise it returns false. Bool is digit char returns true if char carry evaluates to a digit 0 through 9, otherwise it returns false. So over here what I've done is I've said include IO stream, okay, and I've said using the namespace standard, then I've created my um, void uh, function since I'm not going to return any specific data type. And I've created the, a function called change spaces. And I've used the, um, yeah, the, the pass and return version of a function. So you'll, you'll pass it, the message through and it'll return the results of the message. So, and that's of data type string. Okay. Then what I've done is I've created a for loop. And I've said here the integer i equals zero where i is less than the message length, and then I must increase i. And then I said if is space message i, now this is where I've converted the, um, the string into a array, a character array. So that's what happens here automatically. Okay? Then I tell it that it must update whatever, um, whatever we, whichever location it's currently at with a hyphen if it finds it's true that it's a is space okay then if it else if it is a digit then it must also update that uh, location with an asterisk and notice the um, single uh, commas that I'm using here you can't use double I can string you would use the you would use these double ones okay but then in uh, char characters you can't okay so in my main i've said string the message and then underneath it i've said enter the message you want changed and then uh, it's going to get the whole line and i've also asked it to uh, make sure that there's a space uh, or a break at the end of the line so that's what this backslash n means so it'll basically pass the message it'll grab the message and Assign, assign whatever string you enter to the message uh, variable which is already declared here. Then it calls that function change spaces the message which is very similar to what they asked for although I think they just said yeah change spaces message but it didn't really matter. Um, yeah so that will do that and then what I've done is I've asked it to output the results. So if we execute and we run it exactly how what they've got here um, where they said uh, happy holidays are here oh, yeah 2020 there we go you get those uh, results so i trust that this video has been helpful and that you're able to understand how i've broken it down Hopefully the font is big enough that everyone can see it, even on their little iPads and what have you. I know a couple of people are complaining about my old videos. Thank you for watching this and good luck with the exam. Goodbye.